Hi Roboticist! In this series of video we are going to talk about grasping and uh, what we're going to do is uh, to uh, take the um, Cobot uh, URDF file that uh, I remember you is going to be a successor robot that we have modeled in URDF and uh, since that uh, in the last series of video we have designed our controller for each joint we are gonna use them in order to control our joint to pick the object that we are gonna to create so the menu of this video will be to spawn an object that for simplicity we can create a cube and spawn in our gazebo environment and then we are going to find the joint angle that we need to give to our robot in order to put the TPC or better the end effector of our robot close to that object and we are gonna close the grippers in order to try to pick the object that we have created and place somewhere else and we are gonna see that we will face some problem for picking and place but uh, don't worry about that I'm gonna teach you how to solve those problem so after this introduction before diving into it if uh, uh, you like this series of video make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell in order to do not miss the next topic so now let's get into it so first things we are gonna create our cube and so we can go to our urdf folder and we're gonna create a urdf file uh, and we can call it a cube underscore peak underscore place it's gonna be a URDF file and we can treat it like a robot even if it's only a piece of solid that will be our our cube so open the brackets put a robot so the, the the cube is gonna be a simply link and we're gonna call it my box and then we need to put all the visual collision and inertial tag and uh, you can uh, take uh, the uh, dimension that uh, I'm putting here and uh, we are gonna create a box of uh, uh, a size of 50 millimeters And uh, this time uh, what we can do is uh, to give uh, a color and uh, if you want to give a color you need uh, to um, open the gazebo uh, tag with the reference uh, my box and uh, uh, open uh, a material tag and type gazebo slash blue. Um, then uh, we need uh, to create our inertia uh, value or better to put our creation inertia value and we can use uh, 
um, uh, the uh, calculation of uh, the inertia uh, values um, from the Wikipedia uh, page and uh, we have already discussed uh, this topic so uh, I'm gonna uh, put uh, uh, the link uh, uh, right now so it should uh, pop up uh, now so now we have uh, created our uh, cube uh, with uh, uh, a size of uh, 50 millimeters and then uh, what we need to do is uh, to spawn our cube in our environment and uh, since that uh, I don't uh, uh, want uh, uh, to uh, touch uh, um, uh, the launch file that we have created in the, the last series of video when we have uh, uh, create when we have used uh, uh, the was control I'm gonna uh, create uh, a new launch file and this time I'm gonna call it spawn robot cube dot launch and we are gonna treat the cube like uh, a robot so um, we need uh, to pass uh, uh, some kind of parameter uh, that uh, in our in our robot was uh, the robot description and and uh, set the argument that will set the position of the cube itself so let's do it So uh, let's uh, change uh, the uh, parameter name and uh, call it uh, cube. Then of course uh, you need to change the URDF uh, name file that is going to be uh, cube pick and place. And then we're going to set the position of the cube in the empty world and um, uh, we can spawn it in the, uh, one one in uh, X and Y respectively and uh, we need uh, to spawn it uh, at uh, the uh, z value of 0 0.025 uh, why that uh, because if you remember we have set um, the center of this cube in uh, uh, the center of the uh, the cube itself so since that uh, the size is uh, 50 millimeters the bottom of the cube itself will be the half so um, 25 millimeters and finally you need to spawn the cube using the gazebo package node or better the spawn model executable file and pass all the information uh, in order to spawn our cube. So now we have everything to try and uh, so we can uh, uh, type uh, from a terminal was launch the name of our package and the file that we have just created. So, uh, as you can see, the cube is correctly spawned in the position that we have set in, uh, so, uh, in 1, 1 uh, for x and uh, y and uh, um, the, the bottom of the, this cube is laid perfectly at uh, the ground of, uh, or better, the floor of our environment and uh, if uh, we open our uh, RQT uh, GUI 
uh, we can uh, update it of course and we can add all the uh, joint uh, all the joint uh, control command topic so uh, we can send to each joint uh, the angle uh, that uh, will uh, allow uh, to, uh, to that will allow the grippers to reach um, as close as possible the uh, the cube itself so uh, let's uh, um, play and uh, I remember you don't worry if uh, you see uh, the robot that uh, is uh, it seems uh, to, to fall but uh, it uh, won't fall because we have uh, created properly um, the um, the controllers of each joint and with the PID value as well, the proportional integer and the derivative value for each joint and we have uh, learned how to tune those and if you don't remember uh, again uh, it's gonna pop in now the link for this series of video and feel free uh, to uh, refresh uh, all those topic so follows the procedure and uh, with the uh, cobots uh, uh, namespace uh, add all the joint uh, position control command topic so joint one two three four five six and the Gripper left and right. Okay, we have uh, set up everything and then uh, what you can do is uh, uh, to uh, do some uh, forward kinematics uh, exercise. Uh, so you just need to put the uh, joint values uh, that in your opinion allows uh, the gripper or better the, the, the end effector of the robot to reach uh, uh, in the closest position uh, the cube itself so I'm gonna try uh, uh, I'm gonna try a 0 0.5 for joint 1 and then let's try 1.20 and then 1 for joint 3 0 0.5 joint 4 minus uh, 1 for example but uh, uh, you can see uh, that uh, it is uh, uh, quite hard to do that because uh, since that uh, uh, it is uh, uh, made by a custom controller uh, you can see uh, that uh, uh, the robot uh, is uh, uh, flickering, uh, let's say. So, um, since that we need uh, to uh, find uh, the joint value and it's gonna take uh, a while if uh, you're using the gazebo environment, uh, what we can do is uh, uh, to um, find those values using uh, uh, RVs and uh, because uh, the GUI uh, or better the joint state uh, publisher GUI uh, responds uh, instantaneously uh, so uh, it's uh, useful uh, for finding uh, the new uh, values so uh, I remember that uh, I remember you that uh, the cube is gonna be in uh, one uh, one position. So we know that uh, it will be approximately in uh, this uh, position. And uh, then uh, feel free uh, to uh, to find uh, the value that. Uh, allows uh, uh, the end effector to reach uh, the 1-1 one, one position uh, and uh, closest to the 
um, uh, the, the floor. Uh, so I have uh, uh, tried uh, offline uh, the joint value of course uh, and um, feel free of course uh, to find your pathway uh, but uh, the value at the end uh, will be like this. So for uh, link 1, uh, 0.47, 1.22, uh, 0.89, 0.52, minus uh, uh, 1.46, uh, 0.52, uh, and 0, 0 for the gripper. Uh, I remember you that uh, these uh, joint values are expressed uh, in radians. Okay, so and uh, uh, you can see uh, that uh, if uh, uh, you put uh, 0.6 for the gripper right and 0 minus 0 0.6 uh, for the gripper left uh, the gripper uh, closed okay and of course uh, since that we have not installed any uh, mimic functionality for the gripper we need to set a, a uh, let's say joint angle uh, for the gripper right and the gripper left uh, uh, respectively uh, we're gonna talk about the mimic uh, uh, features uh, uh, later in this video uh, so we know that uh, if we want to join perfectly the 1-1 one, one, we need uh, uh, what we can do is uh, uh, to move uh, the joint one uh, by a, a small angle and we're gonna uh, pick uh, we're gonna uh, put the um, uh, the grippers on the lateral side of the cube and then we can we will close the grippers and move the joint and see what's happened if uh, the grasping is uh, correct and um, if uh, the let's say the the object uh, don't fall uh, anywhere in the environment okay that's all for today and uh, do not miss uh, the uh, next video where we are gonna try uh, this value on the real environment and uh, we will see what will happen when we are trying to grasp the object so i'm looking forward to see you in the next video uh, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, click a uh, thumbs up and turn on the notification bell to do not miss the next video. Thanks you for your attention and keep learning robotics with Ross.